Police are still investigating the attack. They say it may have resulted from armed thieves trying to steal a man's car. It was like pop, 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 pop. The moment Kyle Jurgensen heard it, he says he knew it was gunfire. I fell asleep with the window open and uh, woke up to gunshots and my dog's looking out the window freaking out. Uh, probably heard, I'd say, eight to nine shots. The gunshots rang out early this morning in the heart of the city's loop. When Chicago police say a concealed carry license holder exchanged gunfire with two men while the third person jumped out of the victim's car and ran off. You see all the smashing grabs that happen in broad daylight, so you know, you can be a victim at any time of the day. The violence erupted just before four o'clock Saturday morning near Randolph and Dearborn streets. Investigators say it was as a 31 year old man walked to his parked car from a nearby hotel that someone traveling in a red SUV started shooting at him. The man, who authorities say has both a legal firearms owner ID card and a concealed carry license, shot back and the vehicle then sped away. When we first moved, it was there was nothing at all for like a month, and then it got, you know, on and off, got really bad. The victim was not hurt, but investigators say moments later, after the shooting, the same SUV involved in the shootout pulled up at the emergency room at Northwestern Memorial Hospital with a man in his 20s seeking treatment for a gunshot wound to his left knee. About the same time, another man in his 20s walked into Lurie Children's Hospital with a gunshot wound to the lower back. You never know what's going to happen. It's, it's very unfortunate. Now, the two alleged attackers do remain in custody while detectives search for a third. Remember, this is at least the second incident in a week where a legally armed citizen has shot an alleged attacker trying to avoid becoming a victim of a crime. Reporting for Chicago's Loop, Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.